Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about worship music and why you should play it in a worship band. The first thing that I have to tell you is that worship music forces you to change the way that you play the saxophone. Sometimes you have to imitate what the guitar player is doing. And um, yeah, it's just the phrasing. The phrasing has to be different. You cannot play as a normal brass session or you cannot play obviously as a jazz gig because this is gonna affect the way that people are gonna receive the music and the more important thing about watching music is the people it's not you, it's not language, it's just the phrases and conducting people to go to this extra natural experience that they are having there at church the second point about worship music is that it forces you to do more with less tools, right? I'm pretty sure that at some point in your career, you were at least tempted to play all the scales that you know, to play all the chords that you know, to play all the upper positions that you can play in the piano, you know, and try that with your saxophone at some point. I tried it on the beginnings, you know, and they were playing like, and I was playing like, and obviously, it doesn't work. Sometimes the singer is gonna do something beautiful I just have to reply to that. So imagine this, he's doing it. And you do it. So yeah, it's a dope lick, right? Yeah, but sometimes you just have to do it. That's it. That's it, so limiting yourself, you know, to play beautiful and to be responsive to what is happening in your environment is a tool that always is gonna help you to connect with the people, to play as a band. Um, yeah, worship music is not about you. Worship music is about the people who are listening to you. So this guide the video to the third point. And the third point and more important is the fact of Worship music connects you with the spiritual side of the music. Connects you with the fact that you are changing people's life. Today, it was a big impact in my life. See how people were reacting to the music that we were playing. People were connecting through the music with their believings. And that, that's one of the most important things in music. Be able to change someone's life is it's just a gift. It's a gift. And when you look to the masters, when you look to Coltrane, for example, in one of his latest interviews, someone asked him, like, what do you want for the next year? And he said, I want to be a saint. I want to compose this song. Then when my friend is sick, I want to play this song that is going to heal him. I want to be able to compose a song that is going to make happy someone who is un unhappy. So the power of the music and the message of the music is extra musical. It's not about playing complicated chords. It's not about playing complicated harmony patterns. It's not about playing hard leaks. It's about changing life. It's about connecting with people. One of the biggest points of the music is connecting yourself with your spiritual side. So. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much in this video. Maybe I'm going to do a part two of this video. But I just wanted to say today, this Sunday, don't forget what is essential in music. You are in this, you are playing music because the music itself changed your life. Love you all guys. Thank you always for the support. And yeah, see you in the next video.